in their seasonal outlook, they're calling for slightly below average activity in the Atlantic. They're calling for 13 named storms, six hurricanes, two of which being major hurricanes. You notice there that's just below our climatological average of three major hurricanes being category three or more. So what's driving the forecast? Well, they look at a lot of components of temperatures of the ocean and wind shear, but the driver behind the seasonal outlook is the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Now, this is something where we look at the ocean surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific, so the eastern Pacific Ocean, and see if they're near normal, above normal, or colder than normal. Right now they're near normal, but we expect an El Nino to develop where they're above normal, and this will last into the summer. That favors more wind shear that can disrupt the growth of hurricanes that normally have this type of shape, while that wind shear can throw these hurricanes off and limit how much they grow. Regardless, it only takes one storm to make it a bad year. They're calling for a 44% chance there could be a major hurricane make landfall along the U.S. coastline. Hurricane season starts June 1st and peaks early September.